Hey guys! I made a clear vase with a lava look in the inside and a side table that has two different looks. I really love how both decor items turn out and I'd like to share with you guys how I made them. Now let's go ahead and get started. I picked these two round glass vases from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be gluing both of them together using an E6000 glue. I also used a hot glue gun with hot glue in the middle just to make sure that I can still work with it while the E6000 dries. I also got this pull from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be turning it like this and gluing on both faces that I glued earlier on top of it. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm gonna put that aside to dry and now I took the second bowl and I cut out a circle with the measurements of the bowl from a foam board that I'm gonna be using at the top. I glued it to the bowl and then I'm gonna be gluing this 10 inch mirror also on top of it. And then using this bead, I'm gonna be gluing the beads around the mirror. I used the hot glue gun and an E6000 glue. I got a bling wrap that I will be using and then I cut them out into strips and that's what I'm going to be using to cover up the rough edges. This is what it looks like and now I'm going to be gluing what I had earlier together with this one. I glued both of them with an E6000 glue and there you have it, a simple mirror clear side table that shows elegance in a modest way. Now to keep it more interesting, I had garden fence as leftovers from another project and I took off the legs and then I'm going to be curving it just to make sure that it goes round in the middle of the side table. I took the pointed tips out using a pair of scissors. The garden fence has locks that's going to be easy for me to put it around the side table and still lock it in without gluing it to make it permanent. When I was sure of what I wanted, I spray painted it silver and then I put it on to the side table. Now I'm going to be adding mirrors to the circular side that we have here and I'm going to be doing that all round. And these are two inches mirrors. These are remote controlled push lights and I glued one under the side table and I did this so that the side table can have a wow factor. Like I showed you guys earlier, what I made in the middle is something that can be removed. So now let's go ahead to the vase. I used Downey's Unstoppables empty container to make a vase. I just took out the parts that I don't need That includes the wrap around the container and the top. I'll be using this bowl that I got from the Dollar Tree as the base. And this is a mirror tape. It's a mirror duct tape that I want to use to hold the base together with the top 
and I just cut them into smaller pieces and I put it all around like this and so now I'm just gonna put the container at the top and hold them together with the tape I'm making a pattern here because I'm not sure if I want to keep the tape on after I'm done gluing both the top and the bottom together so for now I'm just gonna leave it this way and to hold the top and the bottom together, I'm gonna to be using gems. Gluing the gems in between the vase at the bottom and the container at the top. I did that all around and it turned out to be so strong and sturdy. And so I decided to not keep the tapes on, so I took them off. I will be adding more gems to the empty spaces to secure it properly and to also hide the connection between the bottom and the top. I added more gems and then I decided to just keep adding more to give it some sort of a frosty look. I mixed up the large gems with smaller gems. For the top, I'm going to be using this bowls that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using just one of it. After I was done cutting out the bottom, I then glued it to the top of the vase. Like I did for the bottom, I'm going to be covering up the connection with gems. And I'm also going to be giving it a frosty look. So I just put gems of different sizes all over, but leaving the middle part to be a little bit empty. And that's it. I have my cute, clear, frosty looking decorative face. The side table also is another one that I really love. And I put the lighting underneath so you guys can see what it looks like. And like I said, the middle part can be removed to make it look simple and clear. To make the vase light it up at night also, I'm gonna be using a remote controlled vase lighting. And I put it underneath and this is what it looks like. The lighting looks fuller because I used acrylic gems that I got from the Dollar Tree and filled up the bottom part. I put both the side table and the vase together and the blue light you see there is coming from the side table and then the vase is giving off a green lighted color. I love the way all the projects turn out and the lighting is involved in all of them and the way that I can easily turn my table from simple to dramatic. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.